procedures. But another pronouncement from a well-connected Trump ally is causing even more concern. American Conservative Union Chair Matt Schlapp touted Barr's new job by posting this, quote, Mueller will be gone soon. There will be a rather immediate bar effect on DOJ, FBI, and Mueller. If no evidence of collusion is demonstrated to the AG, then it will come to an end soon. Well, tonight I'll be joined by perspective on all of this by former Watergate prosecutor Jill Wine Banks. But we begin with the author of that provocative statement, Matt Schlapp. A good evening and thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on, Ari. What is this bar effect you speak of? Uh, I think Bob Mueller and uh, Mr. Barr have worked with each other for decades. They have a high regard for each other. And I think Mr. Mueller realizes that he's got his equal as essentially his manager. And I think one of the things the AG will soon do, because it's his responsibility to do, is get read in uh, to what Mr. Mueller has in terms of the underlying charge of collusion between the Trump campaign and Putin's government. And I think he's going to want to see that information. When you say and bar that, and effect that, and, and Mueller gone soon, though, what are you, what are you getting at? Uh, you know Mr. Barr. Uh, he's a highly regarded uh, uh, former attorney general, a lawyer uh, of high regard. And he's going to manage this uh, situation effectively. And the bottom line is a special counsel was called because there was a charge of collusion. Now, the Senate uh, Intel, Intel Committee has come forward and said, there's no evidence of collusion. Some of NBC's own reporters have said the special counsel has talked to over 200 sure. uh, different folks well, and the special finds no evidence not done, of collusion. And the Senate, so, I booked you on your Mueller comments. The Senate, we all know about that. But you are saying something very provocative. You're saying it on a night that the New York Times is reporting that Donald Trump may have allegedly, illicitly tried to kneecap investigations that that's are wrong. open. And so I'm no, asking you, when you say no, Mueller will be gone soon, are you saying that Bill Barr may do something that Trump wants to end the probe? Or are you just saying, and I, I had right. you here because I want your views, are you just saying you think Take there's no breath. collusion and that's all he's going to find? Take a breath. No one's saying that anyone's going to do anything untoward. We have a special counsel because there's, there's a charge made of Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. If there's no evidence of that collusion, it would be logical for the special counsel's probe to come to an end soon. That's a simple statement. I think you can agree with that statement, that a special counsel that's impaneled for a particular reason, when they find no reason that they should have ever been impaneled, they might come to an end. So let me press you on that. I, I take sure. your point that it would be logical if that thing, call it election conspiracy, isn't found, then sooner or later, yes, the clo the, there'll be a closing of the probe. There'll be the declination and all that, which means you're not charging. But when you say Mueller gone soon because of Barr, you do understand that got people's attention because it sounds like you're saying... Something's going to change because of Barr. You wouldn't no, need to mention yes. Barr if Mueller's Something just done researching. I believe that uh, one of the things that is not well understood about a special counsel is that they're not extra constitutional. There are too many people that believe that a special counsel is a fourth branch of government who is not re reportable to anybody. That is a fallacy. Yeah, that is I constitutionally never, incorrect. I, I, I think that's and fair. And so it makes I, sense I that the attorney general... I didn't ever learn about a fourth general, branch okay, in well, law I'm school. Not let, charging me, you. Let, me I'm play, charging let me play one let, more let thing. Let me just finish real quick. Sure. The attorney general's job, one of his many jobs, is to have the special counsel read him in on where sure. he is in the underlying charge. But it's a simple effect, statement. Look, and if hey, there's no collusion, Matt, it should come to an end. sounds a bit like he's going to do something because of Barr. Let nope. me play you on Lou no, Dobbs. No, it sounds Let like me play is you. that... Hold on, I'm going to play Matt to Matt. You should enjoy that. Here's something okay. you said on Lou Dobbs we also wanted to press you on. Do you, you watch on. Lou Dobbs? Take a look. Do you watch Lou Dobbs? Watch it. This is Join good, me. Ari. Take a look. This is good. Why is the establishment in Washington, D.C. not screaming for the arrest of Andrew McCabe? Look, I'm disgusted by it, and I guess there's only one person who can do something about it, and that's Bill Barr. He's either going to do this or he's not, and I'd be greatly disappointed if he doesn't. And well, I think why the right hell isn't the Republican Party standing up and demanding his arrest? Well, I think the reason is because they don't want the controversy of actually taking the deep state on because they might become then its their next I wanted to make sure to give you a chance to address that. Can you really stand by that and say, number one, Bill Barr should go demand the arrest of this individual without seeing where the prosecutors and the line investigators find? And number two, people are afraid of talking about the deep state. As you may know, there's a lot of talk about the deep state. People don't seem that afraid. I give you your rebuttal. Well, 
Okay, so let's just start from the beginning. You have the number two person at the FBI who became the acting FBI director who started a counterintelligence investigation focused on the president of the United States. He then went to the Hill and he briefed Republicans and Democrats on the fact that the FBI was investigating the president of the United States. I think all of that is alarming. I think there should have been a few legislators that raised their hand to say this is not the appropriate role. Then the FBI decided to talk to the deputy attorney general to talk about the 25th Amendment. They had a whip count on where different cabinet secretaries were on potentially removing the president of the United States from office. This is a disgusting abuse of power. If I there needs you, to be any me, investigation, there you. should be an investigation on that. <laughs> let me agree with you. We could do it at the same volume. I think. If, Am I talking too loud? <laughs> I think, Matt, if it's proven that they were whip counting, I think that would be outrageous. I don't think it's a crime, though. I don't think you can arrest someone for that, do you? No, I, I do think McCabe has committed great abuses of his power. I don't know what all the statutes say, but I think that we should look at each and every step he took. We have never seen this kind of abuse coming out of the FBI, and there needs to be consequences for this disgusting and corrupt behavior. I think, I think what I hear you admitting is that it may not be arrestable, as Lou Dobbs said in the leading question. We do watch. Uh, but I, I think you, you watch make, Lou Dobbs. I, I think, think this is awesome. We have made news tonight. But I think you make a fair point, which is why I like to make sure we get everybody's views in here. You make a fair point that some of those allegations would be disturbing under any presidency, right? If you right. had agency officials trying to whip count on the 25th, which is That's not right. for that purpose. So, Matt. And, and Ari, let me make sure one well, thing. Well, I got to get to Joe Mr. Weinbach real quick, wife, real quick. Mr. McCabe's wife, also, you're allowed to have spouses involved in politics. I do too. But for, to have him lead the investigation on Trump, who had just beaten Clinton, who he had called off the dogs on, I think also raises great questions about the FBI's understanding of what conflicts of interest can look like. Well, let me, let me close with a left-handed compliment. There are people who might not want to hear what you have to say because of the way it makes them feel. And some of what you said, I think, was wrong. But I think you are worth hearing from, Mr. Thank you. And, and I watch your show, believe it or not. I, I, 